Hey y'all, what up girlfriends and to everybody else, hey YouTube. So I want to give y'all a quick update of my home decor. And I've done some pretty cool things and I've added to it slowly. So I want to show y'all what I got. We're going to start at the laundry room first. Alright, so in the laundry room, I got this little cute laundry mat. It says laundry sucks. I thought it was just so cute to go in here. I wanted to, I wanted every space in here decorated. Now this mat did come with like some creases like right here and where it was folded. All you did is put it put it on an um, ironing board with an iron and creases come right out. I was ready to send this sucker back because I was like fuck this but iron it out and it's cute. But it says wash dry fold repeat. So cute. And it's so and it's so comfy too. So when you stand here doing laundry, it's soft. I love this. This is my favorite addition. This is a lint bin. So you put all your lint in there from drying your clothes and it's a magnet. It's a huge magnet that goes on to the dryer. So when you're done pulling the lint out, you just drop it right in here. You don't have to go, you know, walk to the kitchen and drop it in a um, garbage can or anything like that. Right here on the dryer. So and it's bigger than I thought it was going to be. I love it. You see, it's still not full. And I've had it for a while. We've been doing laundry. So neat. I got this little iron board and iron thing hangy thing whatever you call it <laughs> i love it because i got tattered iron board just hanging on the floor it hangs on this iron is up here and i tried to use command strips <laughs> i shouldn't have done that <laughs> this shit fell right down so just take your time get a screw and some screwdrivers and screw it into the wall measure it best you can i didn't have like a laser or none of that so I just had to mark it and measure it best I could and it has two little screws back there that screws right in. Really easy to screw it in. Don't just take your time and do that. Not bad at all. Alright. Entryway has, we now have this. I tried to command strip this too because I was trying to put holes in the wall. And I just didn't feel like screwing any holes in because I didn't feel like it. But I did it anyway and I'm glad because now it's sticking up. And this is for our mail. Like I said, I want everything to have its own place. I don't want shit just laying around everywhere. We still have shit laying around everywhere, but it's getting better. I just gotta have somewhere to put it. So our keys go here. This go mail in here, and yeah, I'm thinking about putting like a little. This like this is like a little stand. I'm thinking about putting like a little reed diffuser here, some cute, make it look cute. Yeah, let's move to the garage really quick. All right, so I have this little thing um, to hold all the like cleaning supplies, utensils, even that little, this little thing right here, y'all, I love it. This is a like carpet sweeper for pet hair because sometimes the vacuum cleaner just doesn't do it. And my vacuum cleaner is getting old, I need a new one, but those are expensive. I want like one of the good junks, like $200, and we're gonna wait on that. This carpet sweeper, it vacuums like it's actually a vacuum. It gets hair up and it even leaves like little tracks in the floor. I'll show y'all from when I did it earlier. But yeah, it has little hooks on here. We put the puppies harness on here, hangs everything on here and holds it very tightly. I screwed this into the wall as well. It was easy. And like once again, everything will be linked below. I love this. I love, love, love this. Keeps everything nice and neat and out the way. Next bit will be organizing this a little better, but. I guess we could put her her leash right there too. There we go. Okay, what's up, pup? We're not going for a walk, not yet. It's cold, post snow today, poop. All right, moving on to bar stools. We got them finally. So with this bar height being about 46, it was kind of hard to find good bar stools because I was afraid they'd all be too short. These are perfect, perfect. Now, they did not come with the pillows. I'll link the bar stools itself and the pillows. But, y'all, I got these for a steal. Four of these bar stools was just $186 for all four that you see. $186. And if you're looking for bar stools and you know, bar stools are expensive. Like, the ones I kept looking at, it was like maybe $300 for two. And we needed four. So, that means we're at $500 damn near, plus tax and all that. These were a perfect fit, so this is what we got. And we just bought the pillows separate because CJ didn't have a problem sitting on the hard stool, but I did. 
See that part is hard as hell. It hurts the back of my ass and back of my legs. These pillows do the trick. For the price, yes y'all. And it matches so perfectly with my decor. I'm gonna go to the kitchen last. Let's move over to the lamp I got. Now this lamp is quite short. It was on the floor and it's kind of little. I wanted it about tall as the plant, so it looks good behind the plant. And look, there's a little pedal stool to just cut it off. See? And it's the perfect amount of light. I'm going to show you how it looks from the front. Look at that. It goes on my decor perfectly. I'm thinking about getting another one for this corner over here. We're like, and moving this table maybe over there and putting the lamp behind the tree over there. So, yeah. It's coming along quite nicely. I guess I leave the lamp on. It's a little dim in here. But I didn't like the bright light always being on. Like, let me show you. That's happening. See, I didn't want that on. It's so harsh. I hate harsh, bright lighting. It just, I don't like it. And so, that does the trick. And I love, it was easy to put together. So easy. I mean, it takes a little time and patience. But not a lot. It's easy. And I would recommend getting like a little, that's about the height of the end table which is linked in my first home decor video the end table for the living room section and just get one of these or something similar with a similar height and yeah put the the lamp on it and it's so cool i love this thing down here like booyah booyah <laughs> um you know what i guess i go to the kitchen before i show my office all right this is the kitchen I'm playing <laughs> but this is the kitchen so I just did this backdrop last night actually um, I wanted and I got this light it didn't have a stove light and this is just to charge it like you, you see the little red light on it's charging but I have it on you can cut it off and let it charge but I have it on so I can show you the decor in this lighting but yeah this is pretty cool it's like a little strip and it's a magnet so it sticks and it's magnet it just magnetized right to the bottom of this because there was no stove light and i hate cooking with no stove light and you can unplug it and leave it like that if you want but yes the backdrop the link below is for the tape i only recommend using the tape that i'm linking below the mt tape it was mt washi tape and the reason why i say the mt washi tape it's because I've read reviews about electrical tape, other tapes that said it was peeling and, and coming up. This did not. So simple to use. And it's not coming up. But what you can do is actually pull it up and it won't peel the paint. So it's random friendly if that's uh, what you're looking for. Or even if you're not. You know, you just don't want to ruin your paint. Go this way. And it just looks so chic. And I like that it matches my rug and decor. See, it just looks so nice because I was not in love with these brown cabinets, but I've made myself fall in love with them by just getting brown and black decor and doing the backdrop. And I thought about going all the way up, but I like that would be a little too much, a little too tacky. Just the backdrop, perfect. And I did this side as well, and yeah, it was kind of a bitch doing it in these little small sections. <laughs> But, you know, it worked out. And I love that it matches my, you know, um, paper towel holder, which was linked in the first video um, when I showed what I got. This stuff is in the first video, too. Yeah. Cute. Cute to cute. And my garbage can works now. I love this garbage can. Opens just like that and closes by itself. Love. Love my kitchen. I think that's about all I'm going to do in here. I may put... Like a little decor on the side on the wall. And I'm thinking about doing this wall an accent wall and making it black. Maybe to offset the kitchen. And maybe some things up there. I don't know yet. But it's just about done in here. And I guess I'll show you my office next. Office! Y'all, this was so junky at first. I had like a bunch of hair stuff laid over here. Nail stuff because I do my press-ons and my other nails just all thrown here it was a mess i had to clean it up and i got my chair in the mail and that's what provoked me to go ahead and clean up so i can sit in here and do work and here's pup thinking she's going to come in here and do some work because she don't go all her balls in here but anyway <laughs> 
And I come in here. I've already been doing my work in here. I love doing work in here. That's a picture that I was painted of me. I've been had it. I got it for Christmas from CJ about two, three years ago. Someone he works with um, did it for him. And that was a bitch to get on the wall, too. I was trying to keep get it straight, but I love it. I'm thinking about lowering. Now that I'm looking at in this camera, I'm thinking about lowering it. No, because then if I'm sitting there, I don't want to keep bopping it and it falls. No. But, yeah, let's get into this chair. Y'all, this chair, can you, if you can see up close, it is teal. Now, the theme here is going to be an eclectic theme, meaning I want, like, stuff that don't match but match. So, I'm going to do a purple couch with this, or maybe pink. And this lamp, let's get into it. Feather lamp. You can't really see. Let me try to close the blind. Oop, not open the blind. Close. Still can't really see it, but a nice little glow. Like I said, I don't like harsh lighting, so I use this night light at night when I'm working because it's just the right amount of light. I don't like a lot of light. I don't like big overhead lights. I have, I like lamps in every room. That's just me. I don't like big harsh over overhead ceiling lights. This is nice. This is a little calendar that my cousin told me about. It's a astrology calendar. I'll link that too. It's so cute. Every month it has like your sign in a little picture like this Pisces with the fish my birthday coming up and this Aries it's just so cute it has all the signs you gotta see it so cute so 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 cute um cute lamp it came with the light bulb and all that and feathered out just like that it's perfect I love it and I got my little journal not journal but notebook got my Pisces on the front it's by the same person to make the calendar of course love it um this desk oh yeah this desk came from who no i was gonna say who mary house.com and i'm trying to get this sticker off i already got some of it off but i chipped the paint and i'm so mad i'm gonna have to get like a paint correction to put there just a little bit and get a scraper for the rest i don't know what i think somebody said a blow dryer y'all got any ideas let me know because i want that off it's just yeah over here it's gonna be like a sectional on the couch like, I, I really want, like, a nice sectional to go this way with a change line, something small. Because I want to be able to nap in here. To nap, work on my computer, just chill in here, have me a little wine bar. I got some tables coming. Like, two little tables going to be out here in the front. Right here and right here. Have some, like, coffee table books on it. Black author coffee table books. I don't want, like, the Hermes and Chanel, Paris, New York. I don't want that. I want some actual real coffee table books. And I got some on my list that I'm going to use. Um, bookshelf. Love this bookshelf. Um, CJ put it together for me. And my sister got me this a long time ago. I don't know where she got it from. But I can finally use it. And it matches my decor. Be the girl who decided to go for it. And up here is, like, all of my achievements so far. My, um... Diploma <laughs> degree from University of Memphis and my book Toxic X Chronicles that everyone loves. Part two is coming, I promise. Then I got my journal book up here, and this is my Hey Girlfriend quote book. Everybody likes this one a lot, too. Actually, I, everybody likes all three a lot, so you know, because I do that. And <laughs> but yeah, this is a thick book, but people look how thick it is. Oh, see, I'm making everything fall. Look how thick it is. People have read this book in like a day because they loved it that much. I appreciate y'all so much. Focus. All right, right here is just some books. These are all my nonfiction books. I have not read Attached, so don't ask me about it. I heard it's a good um, reference for anxious attachment and dating and stuff. I may get into it. Um, but yeah, these are all my nonfiction books. All of them. Yes, I read The Pursuit of Happiness because I really liked the movie and I read it. It was a little boring, but I like it. I love this book, Kevin Hart. I can't make this up. Funny, CJ got it for me for Christmas one year. He got me a lot of these books. He got me those for Christmas one year. These are The Four Agreements. I've read through them and they're pretty good information. You know, pretty good information. And I have a feeling they're all quite the same. It came in a set, but like they're kind of all the same. And it's just like all of them put together. I don't know. It's kind of confusing. But good stuff. Uh, this was funny. I actually was reading it and laughing out loud. And I read the whole thing. I have not read Charlemagne's yet, but I plan on it. I don't know when. I've had it for a while. But yeah. I just thought I haven't. 
<laughs> Michelle Obama tried it. Boring. Um, it gets good when she meets Obama, but I may pick it up. I don't know. I just like to have because it it's her. And I haven't read that, but yeah, supportive. And Sinead Echo's poetry book. It's cute. Got my printer. This is a wireless printer. Love it. I don't know where I got it from. It was given to me. And down below, let me squat. Oh, I want y'all to see this. These are all of my um, fiction books. Now, fiction books played a big part in my writing journey because it really helped me to write my story because I love reading a good fiction book. So good. Like the American Marriage is really good. I grew up on the coldest winter ever, y'all. I've read it like a million times and loved it, loved it. I love Omar Tyree's Fly Girl. That's that's the second part too, for love of money. Love the hate you give, but all these are my fictions at the bottom. And if I get more books, I'm thinking about getting another bookshelf and put it right here by it. Because I'm gonna want a diffuser on it, a clock on it, because I got our incense. I gotta have it smelling good in here. So I'm gonna get more. It's gonna be more here. And I want a leopard rug. I told you it's going to have like an elected style. And I'm going to do something with the wall and curtains. I don't know what yet. But I organized and put everything in the closet. Like all that stuff you've seen before. Focus. All of my stuff is in this hair, hair bin. It's like my weaves and wigs and hair. And then over here, my nail supply stuff. All in this. Bunch of press on nails and stuff like that. Organized it. Extra paper up there. These are all like my coats, hoodies, and thick coats and things. And when the spring hits, I'm going to take all my winter clothes out of my closet and put it in here since I got more space. But yeah, this is a nice little storage and everything's nice and neat. My niece painted, no, not painted, drew that for me. I got to keep it. I love it. And on the back is them telling me happy birthday. She got me this like a few years back. She can draw really well. But this is my office. Love this chair. And it's actually, see how wide it is? It's actually quite comfortable. It's for thick chicks. It's very sturdy. I've sat in it, scoot up in it. Do my work at the desk, no problems whatsoever. Love my lamp. Everything's perfect, perfect, perfect. But I think they'll end the tour. Okay, one more thing. I guess I'll do CJ's um, game room. So he's getting it together pretty much. These are some LED lights. He's gonna have to cord some kind of way once he figure out. But it has LED lights that are behind it, like that, and it attaches. They're pretty neat. And it just glows. And he and it's voice activated and all that kind of stuff. It's pretty neat. Um, this is his little cart. He had a larger bar. But this he wanted something smaller to go with it. He wanted red. So we found him this little red bar. It has a little drawer on it. Put all his little weed and things in there. This was stainless steel. It had like a big steel, shiny steel on top. And I said it looks like a kitchen cart baby. So we got him the peel and stick black and white stuff. And put it on top. And it's smooth. You can clean, dust it. Looks so much better and goes with his decor. You can put like anything in a little bin. Some bottles once you get some down there. Even wine bottles. I love it. He got his little futon. It's not a very comfortable one to sleep on. And I don't think if you're going to use it for sleeping. It's just like, you know, for sitting. Pop your feet up on that. It's pretty neat. It's just, you know, something he wanted in here. Um, besides a couch. Because he couldn't find a, a decent sized couch that was reasonable. Um, pillows need fluffing, but that's his stuff. He don't care. Yeah. And it's a little lamp. That's from my old um, room. And this picture he took himself. But this is his game room. I sit in here with him a lot sometimes. and just watch him play the game. Because I like to be in here with him. Watch, and he's going to have cable hooked up in here soon. So I sit here a lot. And sometimes just chill with him. Prop my feet up. Me and the dog too. Yeah. Alright, so y'all, that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching. Remember, there are links below to um, links to everything that I have if you're interested in anything. I do get Amazon commissions, so I appreciate you by the Amazon link. Um, but until the next video, peace out.